Welcome to Downs in Two. Hi, I'm John Downs. I'm a master of wine and I'm on a mission to make wine simple. I'm just off on a quick journey into the R Valley with an important message. Come and join me. Can I tell you a story? It's called the R Valley Legacy. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, there was a consulting engineer who married a Dutch girl and through his father-in-law became interested in wine. Seeing this interest, his father-in-law suggested that they drive together to the nearest wine region of note. That was the R Valley in Germany. In the spring sunshine, they saw the vineyards, the river, the wines, the cellars, tasted with the winemakers. I could have a bit of this, he thought. After this amazing visit, he started taking wine exams. That person was me. The R Valley changed my life. Let's bring the regions into focus and take an overview of the German vineyards. As you can see, they are located around the two main rivers, the River Rhine and the River Moselle. The R Valley is the most northerly and the smallest German region, and at 50 degrees latitude north, lies at the limit of the European winemaking zone. When it comes to grapes, the R Valley is simple. It's a red wine region with the classic Pinot Noir accounting for about 80% of the production. There is a little white wine produced, including Riesling, but there's no doubt about it, red wine is king and queen in the R Valley. Oh, by the way, Pinot Noir is also known as Spätburgunder in Germany, but no matter what you call this classic variety, it responds well to the R Valley's chilly northerly climate and steep slate slopes that fall into the R River. The wines I tasted on that initial visit were good, but the passing years have seen big changes and a boost in quality. A new generation of winemaker now juggles climate, microclimate, temperatures, altitude, soils, grapes, and much more to produce wines that are an important part of Germany's ever-growing reputation for Pinot Noir on the global wine shelf. But following this incredible success story, there's a but, a very big but. On a very dark day, the 14th of July, the R Valley took a hammer blow as devastating floods hit the region. Old and new generations have lost everything. To combat this, the wine trade and wine enthusiasts around the world, stunned by the widespread devastation, are showing their support by sending donations. A successful campaign to support the R Valley will ensure that future generations of winemakers can build on the region's recent success. It's a long, hard road ahead for the R Valley winemakers, so if you'd like to support the campaign, you can donate at the following centres. The world's best vineyards awards ceremony is being held at Schloss Johannesburg in the Rheingau region on September the 20th. This year, this prestigious event is hosting an online auction between the 17th and 20th of September to raise funds for the devastated R Valley vineyards and winemakers. The lots include exclusive collectible wine and one-off wonderful experiences. To find out more about helping the R Valley through this exciting auction, visit www.worldsbestvineyards2021auction.com. That's the latest Downs in Two. With a sad theme, I know, but I'm confident that the new and future generations of winemakers will take the R Valley to even greater heights. Thanks for listening.